While a Bemidji shop primarily sells local goods, their work reaches beyond city limits. The least of these is a fair trade boutique, promoting area art artisans while donating to various causes. Mel Meyer has more for this week's In Focus. And then, so I have quite a collection of them and then I just paint them. Heather Harum is a born and raised Bemidji artist. She's been making her jewelry and mixed media art on and off for the last 10 years. I work with um, fiber arts, I work with painting, I work with jewelry, and I really try to explore every media I can. In 2014, she began to sell her work in town at the least of these. They really supported me with my artwork and helped me grow as an artist as well and gave me the opportunity to sell my work here. She says pricing is a challenge for her, balancing what consumers are willing to pay versus the hour and money she has put into her pieces. Some of my creations take hours upon hours and I really can't put a monetary value to that either. Depending on the item, a piece like her wire wraps could take anywhere from four to 30 hours to make. That probably took me like 15 hours maybe, maybe more. So, you know, I do decrease my prices just to get it out there as well and just to keep doing what I'm doing. The price point at this store also reflects a philanthropic aspect. In 2016, part of her proceeds from her art went to the Village of Hope, a homeless shelter in Bemidji. The store owners even started a nonprofit in Uganda and directly trade with artisans in the country twice a year to be featured in the shop. We order fair trade items from all over the world. Harem says it makes her feel good to know that other artisans like herself are getting a fair share. I know people around the world know many different trades and they should be supported ethically all across the board no matter where they're located. Heather is looking to use a portion of her profits to help fund her mission trip to Uganda. In Bemidji with this week's In Focus, I'm Mal Meyer, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.